one recent study that seems to offer the most promising results so far for male reversible birth control is a hormonal gel that contains two hormones, testosterone and nesterone. Both work by lowering sperm production. Researchers have been interested in developing a male birth control option, reversible birth control option, because contrary to what some of y'all believe out there, a vasectomy is not a good reversible option, okay? But we in medicine have been trying to find one for 50 years. It has only been recently that there has been enough funding to allow for possible medical agents to be studied in humans. One recent study that seems to offer the most promising results so far for male reversible birth control is a hormonal gel that contains two hormones, testosterone and nesterone. Both work by lowering sperm production. We already know this about testosterone. We know that exogenous testosterone, that means giving external testosterone, can significantly lower sperm production, even stop it. I've talked about this in my video about infertility and TRT replacement. But testosterone treatment alone, A, takes a long time to lead to decreased sperm production, requires higher doses of testosterone than one may feel comfortable doing for male birth control purposes, and takes a while to reverse. And so when you're ready to have a baby now, it can take many, many months to reverse. So researchers have added nesterone, the second hormone, which is a synthetic hormone that we also see in a vaginal birth control ring called Anovera. And combining this lowers sperm production faster and at lower doses of exogenous testosterone so that the patient's own blood levels of testosterone are still in normal range. And in fact, this new gel appears to lower sperm production faster than similar experimental hormone-based male birth control methods. This is according to research on 222 men presented at the most recent endocrinology conference just this spring. 222 men applied about a teaspoon of this gel to each shoulder blade every day. Researchers measured for suppression, that means lowering of sperm production by obtaining a sperm count by semen analysis at four week intervals. Every four weeks, they did a semen analysis. And the threshold deemed effective for contraception, meaning spontaneous conception was extremely unlikely, was one million or fewer sperm per milliliter. Now, I know that sounds like a shit ton of sperm, excuse my language, but normal sperm concentration is at least 15 million or more per milliliter. So 1 million, though it sounds like a very large number, is actually an extremely low sperm count. And so far, they found that the median time to reach effective sperm suppression was less than eight weeks. And 86% of all the men in the study reached sperm suppression by week 15. Other male hormone birth control agents given by injections had a longer median time. It took longer for them to reach it, okay? We want to be able to have men use birth control and be able to be effectively birth controlled and it not take months on months to get there. So the study continues. It will continue to test the effectiveness of actual pregnancy prevention. It's one thing to suppress sperm production and to lower sperm count, but it's another thing to actually say, yeah, we tried this and it actually prevented pregnancy. So the male participants are required to be in a committed, monogamous, heterosexual relationship. And what's really interesting is that both the male participant and their female partner had to consent to participating in this research. And that's because the couple has to agree that the gel is the only form of birth control that they're using during their participation. And they have to have intercourse at least one time per month for a year. Listen, we know this more men desire to have birth control in their hands beyond condom. A study in 2023 published in the journal of contraception noted that three quarters over 2000 male respondents that they asked said they were willing to use new contraceptions that were out that were for men. In 2019, the nonprofit Male Contraceptive Initiative estimated more than 17 million men in the U.S. want birth control options for them. And, and the increased interest in male birth control is not surprising given the fact 
that the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade in 2022, effectively making abortion illegal in many states. So there you have it, male birth control gel, hormonal birth control gel. This is not the only male birth control option. There are other options. I'll do a follow-up video about other male birth control options, but it's really exciting. I really, really hope that we see one of these available to the public really soon, all right? Because we know y'all aren't using condoms that well either. That's another video for another day. All right, fam, let me know what you think. Would you try the male birth control? Would you use it? I wanna know, let me know in the comments below what concerns may you have or not have. Why is it taking us this long to have a male birth control? That's my question, all right? And as always, make sure you subscribe so you aren't missing a beat and get everything down there right here and tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend, okay? Join me every week. Take care.